Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's a pool video, and this is what life is like when you buy video games in bulk and you don't know what you're getting. It's insane around here. Give me just a couple minutes, I'll get cleaned up and I'll get right back with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max, I'm the fast talking flipper. Angie is my better half. She's inside putting Judy to bed. It's late at night. It's Monday, it's, uh, it's a pull video. That means we're gonna pull all the weekend orders and get them out of here for uh, what we sold over the weekend because we are resellers. We buy at local yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, that kind of thing. And we sell online for more, usually on eBay. And we do Facebook Marketplace, a couple other places as well. But this is the uh, the video that we do of all the stuff that has sold over the weekend. And uh, we were down in Tennessee this past weekend with our good friends, Scott and Christina, the Trading Post Pickers. We're down there visiting them, and uh, they were gracious enough to open their house to us, and we stayed with them for the weekend. And we went uh, picking down there, and we had a killer haul. It was fantastic. Look for a video on that coming out here shortly. It's going to be coming up uh, in the next couple of days, hopefully, and we'll outline everything that we got down there because it was... It was wonderful. It was a good, good time. Uh, eBay was a little short for us. We would like to see a little bit more because this is from Friday into today until just now. 15 orders for $765. So a little bit short, but that's still $50 a sale. Uh, a little bit more than $50 a sale. A lot of the repeat stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's just kick kicked off and get right into it. I've got... 10 Sega Genesis games. These are all sports games. We bought these in a lot um, locally for a hundred dollars. They said we had 14 games in a Genesis. Turns out they had a Nomad as well. You want a Q2, I think. Q2. Q2 would be right here. Uh, <laughs> it's probably this. Because that's one. Nope, nope. It just says 10 times Sega. Right there. Uh, they said we have 10, or excuse me, they said we have 14 Genesis games. We went over, they had a Nomad, and we didn't know if it worked or anything about it. So we offered them 100 bucks. I said, sure, great. And uh, 10 of them were these games. You know, sports games just don't sell that well, but we lotted them together just to get them sold. Um, I think we had them listed for like $54.99, something along those lines. We took an offer of $40 because that's great for us. That's okay. $40 plus shipping on that guy. E4 is where I'm going for, it looks like some kind of external hard drive st docking station. I have no idea. I, it's We've had this for a while because I can tell uh, where... The picture was taken. It has a blue background, which we haven't done that in a long time. Down here somewhere. Ew, I don't see it. It says E4. Hmm. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't look like it. That's why I didn't pick it up. It's one of these guys here. I don't know where we got it. I'm going to guess a reseller lot or something along those lines. Had it for a while. Took an offer. $27. You know, sometimes you see things sit and you're like, okay, it's time to get them out of here. Time to get them out of here. I'm going to have to be... Hmm. TB5. Uh, I'm going to have to be cognizant of where what I do with these. Because we got a bunch of these. Uh, hopefully, yeah, she did. Uh, these are diabetic test strips, and if you ever see these at yard sales, try to pick them up, especially if you can get them cheap. We got these for 50 cents a box, and there were five boxes, or excuse me, seven boxes of them. They sold for $39.99, no offer taken, no nothing, they just sell. Get running on up out of here for 50 cents and a $39.99, yeah, I'll take that. And this yard sale had everything overpriced, which is insane, because, like, everything was way more than you would expect it to be. And... You know, picking around, it's one of those things, like, it gives you such joy to be like, you know, I found something good in a yard sale where they had everything overpriced. You're like, ha, ha, ha. I did good things. I've got, I think that this is it. Resident Evil 4. I can't read what that says, but it's a video game disc only. So I'll put this in a bubble mailer with a cardboard backing. That's what it looks like. Resident Evil Survivor disc only, $27.59. That's a pretty good disc only, if you ask me. $27.59, so that's going to be a nice one. Another one of our test strips. This is a different date. This is what I was worried about, keeping them separated by date, because that one is a newer date. It's going out of 
uh, it's expiring sooner. It's uh, five months sooner, but it's not that big of a deal because it's still twelve thirty one twenty four that it expires. So uh, thirty nine ninety nine on that one. You know, another fifty cents in the thirty nine ninety nine. I've got a book. The cover looks cool. What am I thinking? I bought a book because the cover looked cool. Don't judge a book by its cover. I did. I 100% did. <laughs> so stupid. Um, but I did, and uh, needless to say, I didn't make much money. I got $5 out of it. It's been around for a while. I know it's been around for a while. It just looks cool, right? Tell me that doesn't look cool. Uh, I've been around for a while. I think I, it was like $6.99 I had it listed for. I didn't have it listed for much. The offer wasn't much off, but five bucks. So we'll get it out of here. Whatever, it's five dollars. I didn't give much for it. I don't know where I got it, but I know I didn't give much for it. We just got this in um, maybe two weekends ago. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I'm going to Media 4 for it. It is for the GameCube. We bought a GameCube. They didn't know if it worked or not. We gave them $10 for it. And in the GameCube was this game. I'm going to guess it's in here. Don't know. It is. Look at that. Pow. In that it was that game. So we figured, hey, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, we still have the game. $24.99 on that guy. We put it in a case just because it's easier to work that way. Oh, this was a good one. Oh, two. Um... I'm going to scroll up here because C882DAZ. I'm going to grab them all four. Hopefully those are the only ones in this one. Uh, I went to an auction a couple of weeks ago and I bought a security system that was hooked up, but it had a whole bunch of brand new unused stuff with it. And that's why I bought it. I, I paid. I paid up for it. I paid one hundred and twenty dollars for it, but it had, at the time, it had eight brand new cameras. When I looked at it, by the time they sold it, it had five brand new cameras, because people decided that they were going to open the cameras. I mean, they're still brand new, obviously. They're just open box at that point. It's so stupid. And I physically watched one of the auction people, one of the people at the auction company, open one as they sold it, which sucks because that devalues them. Uh, two of the brand new ones, $59.98. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to sell two more here in just a minute. And you'll see that... Uh, that I sold them, so, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go grab this, uh, it's a Packers, Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers are an interesting, um, an interesting organization, I found out, because you can be on the season ticket list for decades. Apparently, I have some friends that are on the Green Bay Packers season ticket waiting list, um, as long as they've been alive and they've been alive for 45 years and that to me is nuts I picked this up at a yard sale for one dollar Green Bay Packers it's like a raincoat it's a vintage one and uh, we got uh, $29.95 out of it gave a dollar for it so that's not bad my other two cameras are gonna go out of here next and that's those for $29.99 a piece uh, meaning that they go out for $59.98 for the pair not too shabby. Uh, Sony Walkman, just the belt clip. Just the belt clip. <laughs> just a Sony Walkman belt clip. Just that belt clip. I keep saying that because it's insane. What it sold for, $17.50. We got the Walkman and it didn't work. So Angie looked it up and the belt clip sold for $17.50. So we listed that. It was one of those things like you don't bother to research it or test it on site. You just bring it home and you're like, damn it, it doesn't work. So next thing you know, you're selling it. I feel like we've had this for a long time. And I could be wrong, but I finally got sick of taking offers, like super low offers. And I figured out why the law offers were low when I saw the shipping on it. Um, we had it listed for like $16.95 and we kept getting offers for like eight bucks. Uh, I finally took an offer of 11 just to get it gone. But uh, it's because we had priority mail shipping on it, and the, the shipping was super high. So $11 sale ends up $26.68, which is 
with taxes and everything. S2, 22 pairs of Shawa gloves. I got these from the honey hole thinking they were much, much better than they were. I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, right here, 22 pairs of gloves. They've been here for a while. They're already packaged and everything at least. So that's a good thing. Size 10. We're gonna pop them on the scale, throw a shipping label on them and be done with them. And I don't think I, I think I paid $20 for these and the other 10 pair that are over there. And they sold for okay money. I think $50, $50 plus ship. So that's not too bad. $50 turned into, with shipping, tax, everything, $80.68. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. I sold some shoes. When did these sell? I don't remember these shoes. There's some uh, New Balance 515 Everlight Women's. Oh, okay. I got these at, um, they, they tagged it as an estate sale, but it was kind of a yard sale. Oh, I don't know which ones these are. Eek because there's three of them with the exact same box, apparently. So I have to look at them all because I'm not leaning my head down there. No idea, but I don't think that that's them. They're purple and stuff. You know, it would be my luck to open up each and every one of these and it's the last one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, see? <sighs> Try not to get the, it's that one. Oh, it's the way it is every time. It's the way it is. It's the way it is every time. The disappointment <laughs> it runs deep within me. Um, I feel like we gave $5 a piece for all those shoes. All those new balances that you saw new in the box over there, they all came from the same estate sale, and I feel like we gave 5 bucks a piece. And we did that because um, we bought so many. You know, I just told them we straight up bought so many that we're not... We don't want to give, they, I think they wanted eight or 10 or something. So we got one more of these guys for $39.99. Pretty easy, pretty easy money right there. That's my total for the weekend. Now we did sell some stuff on, uh, on PayPal, on uh, Facebook Marketplace over the weekend as well. Sold some car parts, but I, I don't have those figured in all this. And I've got a couple pending sales that I need to go look at parts for. Um, those are, you know, coming up, uh, I don't know, the next day or two is what my hope is for them. So how are your sales this weekend? How were they? How is everything going for you? Have you seen the spring slowdown? kind of pick up into the summer, you know, pick up or how things are going for you. Um, just got done watching Grammys and Pops. We listed $500 a day thing. And I uh, had a weird take on that. But, you know, I don't want to get into it yet. I want to look at my numbers and compare them to see in contrast. Uh, if you don't know them, um, Corey and Teresa over there at uh, Grams and Pops Vintage. Love their channel. I love uh, I love everything they're doing over that way. I love the um, the the bounce backedness that they have. You know, the two of them back and forth and how they do things. Um, and I I think that they have a pretty good thing going on. I, I would do things different because. That's just how I am. I always look at how I can change things and make them more streamlined. I feel like we have a pretty efficient thing going here with doing this part-time because we are not far off of their numbers where they are two people doing things full-time and we're not very far behind. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, go over and look at their video. It's pretty darn good. It's pretty informative, and uh, it will raise some eyebrows for you. So that kind of thing. But uh, that's all I've got for now. Uh, check out our new videos that are going to be coming up with the... Uh, we've got a rummage sale that we went to. And we have being down in Tennessee as well with the Trade and Post Pickers, Scott... And Christina down there, thank you so much for having us, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that kind of crazy stuff. And we will see you on the next one.